the ingredients I would need for the okra soup with watercress is some okra, some watercress, and lots of fish. This is some smoked fish. This is more smoked fish. And this is some stock fish, chicken bouillon seasoning, some crushed red pepper for seasoning. Out of all these ingredients, watercress is the star. Watercress gets the highlight. And I'll tell you why. It's a superfood. It's it's nutrient. It's a nutrient dense vegetable. It has 18 vitamins and minerals. It's high in antioxidant vitamins A and C. They're great on your salads, sandwiches, soups, and smoothies. Today I'm going to be making okra soup with it. I just want to read what it says the back of this pack of watercress it says watercress move over kale we used to think kale was the king of the garden kale kale is very very healthy but it seems as if watercress is even healthier let me read it says watercress is mother nature's version of a natural delicious multivitamin with over 18 essential vitamins and minerals watercress is one of the most nutrient dense food on the planet its deliciously distinctive taste and delightfully delicate crunch makes our watercress unique among other leafy greens i can't wait to cook this soup with it so i'm going to go ahead and blend the okra there's one more ingredient that i forgot to mention palm oil i'm going to also flavor with palm oil I just soaked some of the stock fish in water. I want it to get soft before I start boiling it. I have cut some of the smoked fish into big chunks. This is what they look like. I'm going to put these big chunks of smoked fish in my okra and watercress soup. I'm about to blend my okra. I have just put my blended okra on the stove. So for now, I'm just going to let it boil. The okra soup has started to boil, you guys. So I'm now going to start adding my ingredients. I'm going to I'm going to add the watercress last because I don't want to overcook the watercress. I'm adding about 2 tablespoons of chicken bouillon seasoning about one tablespoon of crushed red pepper i'm ha adding about half a cup of red palm oil then i'm gonna stir and let it boil i'm also going to add my smoked fish in here while i prepare the watercrust my stock fish is still soaking so I'm, I'm not going to use the stockfish today. I'm going to let it soak for hours and then boil it and add it to the soup later on. So I'm adding the smoked fish for now. I have two different types of smoked fish. They all taste delicious. So I'm going to let this cook with the okra. Now I'm going to go prepare my watercress. The first thing I'm going to do with the watercress is rinse it very thoroughly. I'll rinse it before I chop them. I have transferred the watercress into a colander for better rinsing, for more rinsing. I want to rinse thoroughly. Now I'm going to transfer the watercress onto a cutting board and chop them before adding to the soup. This is what the watercress looks like, all chopped up. So I'm going to do the same for the rest of the watercress. My okra is cooking away nicely with the large chunks of smoked fish that I put in it. 
some people like to add dried shrimp but i don't have any of those at hand so the smoked fish flavor it's sufficient to make this taste good meanwhile i'm i'm going to boil some water because i want to make some eba i'm going to enjoy this okra soup with watercress with some eba i can't wait my watercress is all chopped up and ready to go inside the okra soup i am adding the watercress and the okra soup the watercress has such a nice smell then i'm going to give it a good stir i can't wait to taste this with my eba and this is so healthy it's guilt-free when i eat this soup i i am not guilty at all because i have smoked fish in it okra watercress i mean watercress is a super food so this is this is a healthy food right here so now that i have added the watercress i'm just gonna let it cook for a little bit and then it'll be all done the soup is cooking away you guys it's boiling away it's just about done It smells so good. Look at those big chunks of smoked fish that I put in it. It's just about done. So I'm now going to make the eba. This is my pot of hot water. It, it has just started to boil. I'm ready to make the eba. I'm pouring some gari in the water right now. Gari is made from cassava. Then I'm just going to keep turning it until it gets hard and cooked. This is what it looks like right now, not quite ready. So I'm gonna put a dash of hot water in it, just a little bit, and let it cook some more and keep turning it. The eba is just about ready now, so I'm going to serve. This is the finished product. Let me give it a taste. It's hot. Mmm. <laughs> oh my God. It tastes great. It tastes delicious. I am going to sit down and devour this. I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know if you're going to try this recipe. I hope to see you in my next video.